Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 2.8 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the currents and voltages in the circuit shown in figure 2.28. There are three currents here, I1, I2, and I3. And I think this circuit is perfect example for doing KCL here. Okay, let's name this as node A. And let's set our bottommost node here as our ground in which our voltage here is equal to zero. Okay, now let's do KCL at node A. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, and then let's see the currents that goes in is just this I1 here. So I just write I1 here and that will equal to I2 plus I3. So I'll have I2 plus I3. Okay, but then I1 can be calculated by using the difference of voltage between this node here which is we know that is 10 volt from the ground with this node here so we'll have 10 minus VA divided by the resistance between them which is 2 so we'll have 2 there and on the right hand side we will have I2 I2 is the difference between the voltage here and here divided by the resistance between them so we will have VA minus 0 divided by 8 and then plus I3 I3 is the difference between this node VA and then this node here we know that is minus 6 from the ground so we'll have VA minus minus 6 and then divided by the resistance with between them which is 4 ohm so we will have VA minus minus 6 volt divided by 4 ohm okay we have an equation with which only contains VA so we should be able to isolate VA Okay, now maybe let's simplify this a bit. So we'll have 10 minus VA over 2. And for this one, I will have VA over 8. And for this one, I will have VA plus 6 divided by 4. Okay, to simplify the calculation, I want to multiply both sides by 8. Why? Because we want all the denominator to be cancelled out. So 2 and 8 will cancel out. So into 4. So we'll have 4T minus 4VA. And that will equal to this VA over 8 will cancel into VA. And then this one will 4 and 8 will cancel into 2. So we'll have 2VA plus 12 okay let's move that 40 minus 12 to the left hand side and then we will have this one here we will have all of this is equal to 7 pa okay 40 minus 12 that will be 28 and so that 7 VA is equal to 28. Therefore, VA is VA is 28 divided by 7. That will be 4. 4. Okay, but we are not asked about VA. We are asked about V1, V2, and V3. But we can calculate that for V1. V1 is the difference between this node and this node. So that will be 10 minus VA and that will be 10 minus 4 so we'll have V1 is equal to 6 okay this is the first value that we got okay oh, the unit the unit will be 4 
and then for v2 v2 is the difference between this node and this node so va minus zero so I have va minus zero that will be four minus zero therefore v2 will be four fold okay that's for v2 and then v3 v3 is the difference between this node and this node therefore v3 is va plus 6 because minus minus 6 right so i'll have 4 plus 6 therefore our v3 will be 10 4 okay we have our v1 v2 and v3 now we can calculate i1 i2 and i3 okay for i1 i1 is just v1 divided by 2 and v1 is 6 6 divided by 2 that will be 3 ampere right and i2 i2 is v2 divided by 8 but v2 is 4 so 4 divided by 8 that will be 1 half or 0 0.5 ampere or 500 milliampere if you want to be more readable and then for i3 i will have v3 divided by 4 okay v3 is 10 volt 10 divided by 4 10 divided by 4 that will be 5 divided by 2 that will be 2.5 right 2.5 ampere so maybe the results here contains an error we should check the error okay so this is the value of i1 until i here here okay hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye